Ik heb een paar dagen met Bilam de Boer Sora. Ik heb de agent de Bilam de Boer Sora. Wat is de waarde van Bilam de Boer Sora? Ik zeg het naar een locatie van Bilam de Boer Sora. Asher Allah Noor, Eretz Bnei Amo, Likrobo. Which was on the river of Eretz Bnei Amo to call him. Lamor, saying. Seems to be, I mean, who would have said, Yishlach Malachim Bilam Ben Baor Psoro, Lamor. Right? Leave out the Likro, though, to call him. Right? Because then, we just for what's the Lamor? So we understand what is it. You're summoning him, you're commissioning him to come, you want to curse the Jews. What's the Likro law? Likro law to call him. So Rashi makes it a point. I mean, you have to, you know, very often when you're children, learning in yeshiva, in elementary school. So very often the Rebbe would say, you know, Rashi says something. Well, what does Rashi say? Right? So you have to appreciate, when you learn the Pussy, you have to appreciate the question. Likro lo is seem, seemingly superfluous. Correct? Because it says Lamor. From the Lamor, we understand what, what the purpose of the calling, what, what the purpose of sending agents was. You want to commission him to come. So what does it say, Likro lo, to call him? If one had said Lamor, it would have said for what? Sending agents to call him. But if you have the Lamor, what do you have need the Likro lo? So Rashi cites Chazal. What does Chazal say? Likro lo means it's in your interest to come. When they communicated it, mean financially it'll be worth your while to come. That's what they were telling him. Sora, Kishulchani in in Aramaic, Shulchani, uh, a money changer was called was Sora the table because he would have a table. Shakob Ritzin Lomos Kakolam Lochim Ritzin Lodiwaseim. All the kings throughout the world, they would send them all kinds of letters in terms of seeking out his uh, assistance. Bilam originally had prophesied, saying, ultimately you're going to be the king. Right? After his question, if you read the Rambam, the level of fully committed and engrossed without distraction and purpose it's not to be imagined to understand how it's possible to achieve it and here you have Goy Rosha Bilam he married to be a Novi Kodesh Bokh communicated with him Kadesh Loti Pishon Pelu Muslomar Ilu Hoyilon Nevi'im Chazar Lamutav Hamid Lev Nevi'im he says if we had Nevi'im we would have Return to do the right thing. Hamadlam the Vim they pierced to go their olam and they breached the gather, the they breached the fence of the world, Shibitrilo y Gojum to do in Barayus. Zenoslam Aitzo Lahapki Atzman Musnus and he advised them Likro Lo Hakri Hoisa Shalo. What does that mean? Lahan also Shri Posik Lo Momin Harvey. Meaning what he sent, it's it's worth your while financially, you'll make a fortune here if you come. Am Yotzim Mitzrayim Vim Tom Amaz Baziko in Echisa Sein Oretz. They covered the eye of the earth. Sichon Vog Shor Yishom Mi Mosonu Omdu Alehem Lo Harogum. What does it mean? They covered the eye of the earth. They were the so-called the centuries. They would watch. They would sit on the Medrash says they would sit on the walls of the fortified cities. And they would watch from distance. They saw the enemy coming. They go immediately and they destroy the enemy. So by killing them, what did you do? Chisas ein oretz. You covered the eye of the earth. I mean that eye, that would, that all-seeing eye, that they were able. They, they were giants. I mean, according to the Gemara, they they towered. They could see hundreds of miles. So that eye, that eye, no longer. You covered the the eye of the land that op, that watched over the land. That's been removed. Chisor. You know, it's interesting. You should say uh, that Arba you also find the same expression. They covered the chisas in oritz. Also, same thing. You want to use the sima in oritz. They blinded. It's not. It's not. They covered the eye. 
say they blinded the eye of the deer, right? I mean, you kill them, they can't see anymore. I mean, it should be a stronger term with the bchiso. How do we understand it? You know, when you're talking to a person who's uh, egocentric, and you have to be very careful. Why? Let's say a person is egocentric, he thinks he's everything. And you refer to anybody else with any level of quality, you throw them in off balance. You can't even say anything, because it's him and only him can't be anybody else. So you have to be sensitive how to talk to this kind of person. Bilam exaggerated over it hundreds of thousands of times. The man was Nefesh Rechava, Ruach Gevoa, Gaiva. He was megalomaniac. He was a megalomaniac, Bilam. He had megalomania. What do you mean? You, you blinded the eye of the earth. What about me? I'm still here. I see beyond that. I see more than Ogin says. You know, it's just been covered. It's, it's, only, it's only covering. Of course you can see, but in fact, today we can't see. Therefore, we need you. That's exactly what we're calling. We're summoning you to come for us. Because otherwise, it should be much more than Chiso. It says over here that Bolo, that originally, it says Eretz Meyamo, he was from there. He says he was Misnabi Bolo. He says, Osa Atolios Melech. So the Orachim HaKadosh explains that the Baruch of Bilam was no better than Bichas Hamor, than the Baruch of, of a donkey. But it says, in fact, it says, you're going to be the king. He says, through various, th uh, like, you know, the stars, astrology, he knew, like, the astrology, it says everything. He had the ability to know, so he would say exactly when things were supposed to happen, good or bad, when they were going to happen. Had nothing to do with his bracha, his kolochah. Clearly, he had the ability to curse. But a bracha, his bracha was worthless. His, he says the bracha of a chamor, is his bracha and bracha chamor are no different. Neither have the ability. Because where does bracha emanate from? It emanates from a goodness, from a kedusha. The man has no role in his kedusha. Says, but he said he'll be the king. Had nothing to do with him. He knew, he, he knew that fact. He says, you're going to be the king. Like years ago, they used to say, this is when people spoke rationally. There was a obstetrician, and uh, it was amazing. He would always tell the women what they were going to have this before sonograms, boy or girl. So how did he do it? He always knew would it be a boy or a girl. The woman would come, and he would say, you're going to have a boy. And then in her record, he would write girl. So if he had, she had a boy, see, uh, a girl, doc is doc. Let's look up your record, said girl. <laughs> you understand? So the doctor could never be wrong. You understand? And he got his reputation, but that's the way he did it. So the same thing, oh, Bilam, think he's amazing. He knew exactly what the fact was. Therefore, he said, Osara to to be continued. So over there, different shelter, and he said, no, it's either because the, the, the locusts blocked the sun, so the sun couldn't penetrate, so you couldn't see the land. Would you normally be able to see the, sun, the earth because the sun, the rays would go through? The cloud covering, the, the arba was so thick, the sun couldn't penetrate. It is the same language. It's chisa, it's only covering it. It's there. You don't see it. It's blocked. It's only blocked. 